off camera here, you wrote a little bit more on things. So. Well, there were uh, some uh, slight criticisms. Mm, of... Slight? <laughs> that didn't seem so slight to me. Well, you know. It seemed pretty damn I, critical. I, I, that's the way I decided to take it in. Oh, okay. 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 Don't criticize the way that I accept criticism. Okay. Okay. All right. Because so. then I'll have to take that in too. Let's read what you wrote. Let's read what I wrote. I'm and just then... going to start here. Emmeline stops, waiting for the next moment she is exposed. She turns down another hallway and stealthily opens a cabinet where her tools are kept. She finds a bag. The bag. She finds the bag she utilized repairing her communications array and puts out, pulls out a laser drill. Laser drill! She turns and she's standing face to face with Matthew. Uh-oh. A pretty predictable plan, Em. Original thought is not one of your strong suits. That's not true, you dick. He's a dick. He says dicky things, ma'am. Emmeline immediately screams and doubles over in pain. With an, you don't really scream and double over. No, no, no. There, there's a point here. Oh, okay, because it's an alien baby. No, 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 no. Ma oh, she's faking. Yes! <laughs> Matthew is shocked and tries to help her up. Emmeline takes the laser drill in her hand that she has had at her side and fires it directly into Matthew's groin. <laughs> Is a tentacle going to grow out of there? <laughs> he screams with a combination of human and alien utterances. Emmeline starts to run, but a tentacle of light wraps around her neck and pulls her back. Is this his dick tentacle? No. Uh, sure, it could be. It I starts don't know. <laughs> constricting her air and she tries to pull at it, but her hands pass th right through. Matthew is seething in, obvi in obvious ag agony. While choking, Emmeline tries to speak. Let me go. Please. Bettina. Why? Why'd you do that? Wait, does he know? What? Does he know the baby's name is Bettina? No, but that's what she knows that the baby's name will be Bettina. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. Okay, it's fine. Why did you do Why'd that? Why'd you do that? Why? He's like really upset. Okay, you read these. Emmeline starts to uh, feel herself falling into a deep well. As her last hope, she reaches down and grabs the wound in Matthew's crotch to try and uh, get him to release the tentacle. That says womb, not wound. Okay, wound. Yeah, W-O-U-N-D, sorry. That's so weird. Is wound spelled the same way as wound? I don't know, probably. <sighs> English language is fucked. Okay, Matthew screams. Okay. Instead of releasing her, the tentacle tightens and cuts off all her air. Uh-oh. This didn't have to happen. I don't want to hurt you. Why are you making me hurt you, Emmeline? Why are you doing this to yourself? Answer me. <laughs> Why are you doing this to yourself? Is he hitting her with his own uh, <laughs> Well, he's, cho he's with her choking own her. Hand. <laughs> Emmeline's body is totally limp in Matthew's arms. He shakes her and there is no response. Uh-oh. Oh, I killed her. Emmeline, Emmeline. Oh, no, 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 no. His arm turns to flesh again and he picks her up. He listens to her heart. Yeah, that should be capitalized. No! Why'd you make me do that? Okay, okay. Calm down. Matthew runs with Emmeline's body in his arms to the mess and places her on the table. He pulls out a hidden controller and a ship decloaks outside the Lyra. Connect to the Lyra and find and translate. If, connect to the Lyra, period. Translate any information regarding female anatomy. This guy is dumb. <laughs> this is a dumb alien. Computer well, information available. Matthew reaches. What? Why is it? Why does it say that? That's what the computer. Or, or or that's what it says on the screen or yeah on his uh, on his little comptroller or whatever or maybe it'll say it as like why does it say computer information that sounds like the no, no 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 it's that's like oh. the computer information available got it okay finally okay so it's like that matthew reaches out his light tentacle and touches the side of the ship he closes his eyes as he absorbs the... Oh, God. What? What? Well, he can do that. He can, like, get information. Oh, it touches the ship. Yeah. 
and absorbs the information from the ship. Oh, God. Why didn't you just do that to begin with? Well, okay. So should should that change? <laughs> uh... I mean, he has to learn how to do surgery. Not really. You just cut. Well, maybe. You don't you don't think that there should be like him panicked at all? Not much. That's very human. Yeah, but he's like half human, half alien. No, he's not. He, he was he's wearing like in, right. wearing Matthew's body. Yeah, okay. As a skin suit. Okay, well, well then then you just want to get rid of the touching the side of the ship thing? Or yeah. do you want to get yeah, rid of I'm him? Get, I already got rid of it. it got, I got rid of it last week. Okay. <laughs> His tentacle changes shape and comes to a sharp point like a scalpel made of light. Yeah, he can do that. And it can and like change into different shapes like um, Terminator 2. Um, so he uses his one human hand to pull down Emmeline's pants. And after a deep sigh, he starts to cut into her corpse. Okay, this I feel like this is a new. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, absolutely. Well, obviously, this all has to be, you know, formatted to like, okay, this is like this location of the ship and this is this location okay, of the ship. Okay, we just haven't Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up. I just haven't done that. Okay. Yeah. Matthew is holding a newborn baby. Emmeline is splayed upon the table. Matthew turns to Emmeline's corpse. Oh, God. Talking to a dead person. Oh, God. Well, That's I mean, she's there. It's tantamount to talking to yourself. No, we people it's talk. Talking to people yourself. talk to bodies. I talk to How my mom. How many times is he gonna say, "I'm sorry"? Well, he killed her. Yeah, uh, I think he's over that now. Okay. I was willing to live out the rest. Didn't we already say that? No, that was in the other version. You took it and moved. Yeah, it down and here. I moved it. Yes. I was willing to live out the rest of your life together, but you couldn't just let it happen, could you? You would have been the mother of a queen. She will return to your ruddy little planet and rule whatever is left. This didn't have to be this way. I will tell her about you. You deserve that. Okay, he was in the kitchen, evidently. Right. Matthew walks out of the kitchen as a reluctant single father. Robbie walks up to him with a slight limp. Well, at least you are. Oh, damn it. Still here. You're still here. Maybe I won't be so lonely after all. Matthew walks by holding his daughter and Robbie goes to Emmeline's aid. Her cold arm is hanging off the table and Robbie sniffs it with his non-existent nose. Read. A dull glow starts to emanate from the body. Tiny little tendrils come out of her gaping wound and start to sew in the line from the inside. The edges of the gash are pulled taut, closing her up like she was never violated. The entire body starts to glow brightly and levitates off the table. Emmeline's glowing eyes open and she inhales the first breath of a new life. Her body starts to drop down to the table in a seated position and the glow dissipates. Robbie starts spinning in excitement, seeing his master resurrected. Okay, should we just keep going, or is, should that be where we stop? No, you keep going. Okay. Matthew walks in with his sleeping daughter and is shocked to see Emmeline sitting on the table edge a bit disoriented. Em, how is this? Oh, I take it back. You are full of surprises. Matthew, what's going on? How did I get here? Oh, oh you don't remember? I helped you when you passed out. This is our daughter. Say hi to mommy. Our daughter? I saved you. I saved her. I saved both of you. Can I hold her? Wait, why does she say our daughter? She's trying to trick him, right? Yes. Our daughter? She, no, duh. Who else would it be? Well, I know she's trying to trick him though. <laughs> That's a really dumb, tricky line. That's not a trick. Or, well, she, she could say, I had the baby like that, maybe. 
Is she okay? Okay. I saved her. I saved both of you. Can I hold her? Matthew hesitates and then hands the newborn to the confused mother. Hello. Emmeline takes off her sweatshirt, wrapping the baby in it, and lays uh, lays her in a drawer, not the her in a drawer. Lays the her. The her, yes. She's so beautiful. We'll be so happy together on our journey. She's beautiful, and we will be happy without you. What do you mean? I mean that you're a monster. You killed Matthew. You lied about everything. You raped me. And finally, you murdered me. I mean, my daughter, Bettina, and I have no use for you. This sucks. Why does this suck? That line really sucks. What? Which line? It's so... 1960s soap opera <laughs> melodrama. Okay, well then what? I mean, this is this is like her big like fuck you to him. So what what would you like her to say? I would just kill. I would just say immediately, Robbie Protocol Zeta. No, man. She th this is like her last thing she gets to say to him. Yeah, who gives a fuck? Kill his ass. I don't need a big soliloquy. What do I look like, Al Pacino? No, you do not look like Al Pacino. I don't like need to fucking explain why I'm killing you when I'm killing you. Die, motherfucker. <laughs> well, you know, this 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 is You can film. figure it out in the <laughs> afterlife. I don't think after we saw him rip a baby out of her kill her i don't think we need to know why she wants him dead i, I think it's obvious that. but you, but uh, this is all of her rage coming out this is all of her so he has time to defend himself she's just gonna rage out and he's gonna have oh how long a minute or two no, to figure out how to not, defend himself it's not a minute uh, well he doesn't he's just know standing there oh i'm just waiting to die <laughs> i'm just gonna listen to you rant on me before you kill me no problem <laughs> okay it, it when you put it that way, it is a little bit Mr. Bond. This is how I'm going to. This kill is you. how I'm going to kill you with <laughs> sharks with lasers on them. Um, with yeah. lasers. Okay, Robbie, who has been watching uh, the human drama. Come on, man! That has no stealth whatsoever. <laughs> she she can she can fucking Clint Eastwood that shit without you later if you right. want to, but. She is beautiful, and we will be happy. Robbie, protocol Zeta 12. Robbie, who's been watching the human drama, opens up his mouth, and a wide laser shoots, blowing Matthew's head off. His torso starts staggering around blind, and a glowing tentacle starts to creep out of the stump. Emmeline rushes at the beheaded Matthew with both of her arms that are now energy tentacles as well. She reaches down into Matthew's exposed neck hole, and with both Ew. of her appendages, she drags out the creature that was Matthew. It is half, half his size, and her arms start to immobilize it. It makes a screaming sound in her mind. She struggles with its strength. In her mind, Matthew speaks. Mm. Emmeline, don't do this. I love you. I will show you the universe. I'd rather his disembodied head speak. Like on the ground? Yeah. Okay. But th that doesn't really make sense because all... I don't care. Okay. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Okay. Okay. So his disembodied head speaks on the ground. Emmeline, don't do this. I love you. I will show you the universe. I could save your world, your family. Emmeline carries the writhing creature in the to the airlock of the ship. It starts to wriggle free. Emmeline reaches the airlock door and turns her left leg into a tentacle so she can open it. It opens with a whoosh. Let me go, you bitch! Let me go now or I will kill everyone you ever loved! Emmeline um, throws him inside and shuts the door. I, uh... Well, he's... Yeah. And then she goes, Thank you, Matthew, for making it so easy to do this. Emmeline hits the release door and the glowing monstrosity gets sucked into space. Emmeline watches out the window. I feel like he has to turn, you know, he has to turn dark. Um, 
He didn't already when he like cut the baby out of her. Well, that sure, absolutely, dark. yeah. But I mean, for that last, that last moment, you know, instead of like, I love you, it, the bargaining. Yeah, yeah, the bargaining. It turns to anger. So you don't like let me go, you bitch. I no. don't think that's the way it would go. Okay. So what do you think he would still be bargaining? I don't know. It's more like um, trying to scare her, maybe. Like, well, he does say that I will kill everyone you ever loved. How they're in the middle of fucking space. I know. <laughs> how that's not going to happen immediately. There's a lot of time between then and now. Right. Um. <laughs> I wish I would be like how we're in space. How you can't even you get there. Fucking idiot. <laughs> You're a moron. <laughs> Yeah, I just these these threats and these these pleas, they're like not good. So I would almost rather not have them. Mm -hmm. You know. Okay, so what you want to cut uh, Matthews like begging? I like the disembodied head one. So right. maybe if that one's better, maybe if that one says a little bit more. Mm -hmm. You know, because he said so many times he's been like, oh, we could be so happy. Uh, uh, uh. He's just like being a total weirdo. Right. And it's not working. Right. At mm -hmm. all. Okay. So I just don't like that. Okay. But well, I, I would mean, just have him say one effectual thing. Okay. Okay. So do you want to. I don't know what that is right now. Okay. Well, that's fine. So do we want to just cut when we do our read? Do we want to cut the other two Matthew lines? Possibly. We're going to go through and build in some things and we'll edit those into so that we can, the yeah, areas so, yeah, so, we incorporate so that those. some of the things we've come up with in the are ending. we going to be actually doing a read on this show no 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 read okay cool no all right well uh, uh we're almost done yeah hmm. but probably in a week or two after the last episode we'll have that ready and and it'll be one whole thing you can listen to from okay to so we're almost done i'm um, the last thing here we already know all this. This well, is the same. Well, well, no, 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 no. It's not the same. I, 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 I had to change some of it. Uh, to Earth, Ian Solange from Emline Ride, Captain of the. Well, Lord. let's keep it a mystery. Okay, that's fine. 